What's up guys, it's your creative friends and today we have the Galaxy Squad Star Slicer. This is set 70703, ages 8 to 14, 311 pieces. I believe this retails for about $35. And it is the Galaxy Squad Blue Team with Solomon Blaze, his robot sidekick, and the red alien Bugoid, as he is being called now. Uh, we get this vehicle that also breaks into um, kind of like a space vehicle of some kind. This comes apart, which we'll show you in a bit. And then the Star Slicer itself, which is this huge, you know, spider alien looking thing that is pretty darn cool. So I can't wait to show you that as well. But first, we'll get these minifigures on the pedestal for you. We're gonna start you off here with Solomon Blaze. Now we have seen Solomon Blaze before in the Space Swarmer, and that is also true for the Blue Robot. So here he is with the torso printing, leg printing, and back printing. And now we'll get his helmet off for you. And you can see the dual-sided head on Mr. Blaze. And here is the robot sidekick, Blaze's sidekick. And we've got that torso printing on the back, front and leg printing, black gloves, and some printing on the head. And that head is just one mold, so no minifigure head in there. That is the headpiece. We see a lot in these Galaxy Squad sets. So there's the robot. Robot also gets a pretty cool weapon that he holds like that. And our last minifigure is the alien Bugoid, who also comes with a weapon. And there is back printing as well. Here is the back printing without the headpiece, so you can get the full effect. Now we'll get the headpiece back on. And there's even, you can see the eyes there, the red printing on the eyes. So quite a lot of detail on these minifigures. And here is the Bugoids weapon. And you can kind of tell it's just a scorpion turned upside down with a pan and a translucent, you know, dome kind of piece. And they put those together and made his weapon, kind of like a ray gun. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, there is his weapon back. All right, before we get to the main attraction of the set, I want to show you Solomon Blaze's vehicle, um, which is this. So we have a bunch of stickers. So any printing you see on here, except for one piece, which I'll show you in a minute, is a sticker. So these are all stickers. Sticker, sticker. And we even have to put a sticker on this windshield piece. Well, that's kind of cool. So that goes up, and then that is where Solomon Blaze sits. And he has his controls here. A couple of guns. And his robot sidekick goes in the back. Let's get him in. And this piece actually detaches. So there is a post there and a clip here, so that's how it stays together. But this detaches and you can see that there are engines and this is so he can fly around and use these guns to battle the Star Slicer. He's also a spin. So that's a neat little build. Nice little part of the set, but not nearly as cool as what we are about to see next. And now the best way for me to show this to you is by taking the camera off the tripod. So pardon the shakes, 
but this is the star slicer and you can see it's operated by the alien bugoid up top I'm going to show you all the detail with the stickers so this is the back so there's stickers all the way down those green pieces this would be the tail just kind of see how he is there so that's the tail and around the other side there are more stickers also a sticker here and the only piece that's not a sticker are the controls we'll show you that in a minute are the controls for the alien bugoid right there now we turn him around and it really does look like a spider you know with these being the eyes we get a ton of neat pieces on this set so if you're into technic um, you get a lot of cool technic pieces and you get some of these green technic pieces which aren't very common so this moves these are like the claws that he's controlling up top at the control center this headpiece moves, uh, you know, the eye pieces also move. All right, that was the ball, I'll show you that in a second. And then there's also a cocoon. So I'll get to that after I show you the main feature with the star slicer. Now, the way the he is going to defend himself, aside from the green claws that he has, is by shooting this ball and the way you do that and we'll just turn around this way here we can do it from underneath now you just squeeze this and oh yeah I just lost that one I don't know where it went good thing it comes with two so you just simply put that in and then squeeze it and it kind of goes flying. So you kind of aim that at Solomon Blaze. And that's a really neat feature. And I like that they give you two of those balls. And there's also a place for him to keep his weapon attached. And now we're gonna move on and show you the cocoon. Now let's imagine that the alien bugoid was successful in stunning Solomon Blaze with one of those balls that he shoots. He would stun him and then be able to collect him in this purple cocoon. And there's Solomon Blaze in the cocoon. And then he can then be attached back to the Star Slicer. So overall this set is kind of awesome. Um, you get a lot of unique pieces, a lot of unique Technic pieces. If you're a fan of Technic, building the Star Slicer itself uh, is a lot of fun to build. Um, some new building techniques that I picked up that you'll really like. Um, and then, I haven't seen one of these before, these cocoons. Um, so that's pretty neat. And just all of the different minifigures that you get. Um, and this guy, of course. You can certainly tell a lot of thought went into the design of this set. I really like how the Galaxy Squad vehicle does break up into two pieces. So every minifigure that you get kind of has their own vehicle or craft um, that they belong to, and that's decent. Uh, so that included with the different translucent pieces that you get, like I said, the Technic pieces, um, really makes this set compelling. So if you are into the Galaxy Squad theme and you're looking for a mid-range set, you know, this is a great one for you. Please comment, subscribe, thumbs up. Let us know what you think about this set. And we'll see you next time on Your Creative Friends. Peace.